Okay, hi, it's me. I know I look like I'm a giant Amazon, but yeah, I am six feet tall, so that's just the way it is. Today I'm talking about the Crest toothpaste, and particularly a fluoride and what it does to the brain. And I mean, it directs me if I have swallowed, and what it says is a pea-sized amount, to call the poison control center. Now, I did that one time, and they said, oh, I'm sure you're going to be okay, but why does something that I am brushing my teeth with, how can it be FD allowed to be on my toothbrush and my child's toothbrush in the future? So here, I have like this Crest travel package I got. I'm trying to open it up to see what kind of poison they have in here. And then I found out Listerine was uh, from floor cleaner, which is just also insane to me. But look at this, it's like, it's like this weird taste. And to me, this is like, <laughs> jewelry, a pea size amount. Let's just like try to understand that. It's like a pea right there, a pea. Now, how much are you really putting on your toothbrush? This is like, Identify toothbrush and I'm just gonna open it on toothpaste. Let me just say that's the average. So that's like three to four times the amount of the pea size. They're telling me now Japanese pea size, American pea size. I don't know. I don't know what pea size are different. You got Monsanto making all kinds of different peas. So if I were to like brush my teeth and then accidentally swallow this, I would have to call the poison control center because this is three times the dose of something that's obviously like um, toxic to my body. And I don't get why they're adding it to water now. In uh, many states, they're adding it to the water. So now you're getting fluoridated water that the kids are supposed to be drinking. And then I'm supposed to shower in it and it's going to absorb into my body eventually another way. So fluoride has been known to cause many, I mean, just look it up on my health effects as attacking like a, a aluminum almost into the brain and causing a, a decrease in IQ. And women don't like stupid guys. I'm sorry, I don't know how cute you are, but um, I've been around the block and it, women don't like stupid guys. You're just not gonna want out here. Women want a smart, intellectual, secure man. That's what they want. Anyways, this is my um, crest complaint that I wanted to show you. It's pure toxin alongside. I'm sure they've got something to do with Monsanto along the way. And, you know, it all just the GMOs, the fluoride, whatever they can do to kind of dumb you down, to not make you docile. Ooh, vote for me. Do this. Watch this. To the Super Bowl. Oh, the baseball. This and that. And not pay attention to really what's going on. It's like the Wizard of Oz kind of syndrome. Like, women are not supposed to be political. There's BS. Behind every political man you see in the Senate, in the Capitol, anywhere you go, behind every political man is an even stronger woman holding him up. Okay? And yes, I did study poli sci. That was my thing. I thought I'd marry, you know, a mayor one day. But I got pretty damn close, so I'm happy. I just want to spread the news and let everyone know, don't give your children this toothpaste has got fluoride in it. Don't even brush your teeth with it. And if you have fluoride in your water where you're living, automatically put in there. You need a protest against this fluoride. It is a heavy toxin that does not belong in the body and it only does bad things. And it's, it will dumb you down. Let's look at statistics before they put the fluoride in the water and then the IQ levels after they put the fluoride in the water. They want you dumbed down so you don't know and they can mind control you. <laughs> Dumb bastards. We gotta fight back. All right, bye.